Ooh, what's up, internet? This is a very special edition. It's the moment you've been waiting for. The moment you've been waiting for. The Nerdy Wordy Book Club special bonus reaction moment. Because we have arrived. We have crossed Altara, Morandi, Andor. We've gone to the Blight and Back. We've been to Tenchico. Rand and Avienda teleported across the entire planet so that they could bone down in an igloo. With but those southerners. <laughs> while dragons flew overhead. This book series is nuts! Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's Doom Eyes Wells time. Uh-huh. Oh, I should say I'm nerdy. Oh, and I'm Clarus. And this is a reaction to chapter 55 and the epilogue of mm -hmm. The Lord of Chaos. A book that it might be my favorite book in the series so far. <laughs> Dragon Reborn stuff. Uh, Clarus, mm -hmm. before we do this, who's dying? Do my as well as who's going to die? Okay, I have a prediction. Okay. My prediction is that Alana dies. Ooh. And hear me out. This is why. Okay. I think that, um, I think that the reason that Alana bonded rand is so we that should say spoilers for everything before this moment they i mean they're not just gonna listen I'm to just, you might I, as well the, the internet is weird about it okay, okay? okay they'll okay. be like wait you spoiled spoiler alert um yes i think that alana bonded rand mm -hmm. so that she was able to find him in this moment and i think that those nine right i said i yeah i think that those nine i said i are going to be the make or break of this battle and saving rand and i think that alana dies saving rand um, and that it was woven into the pattern that she would bond him so that they could find him in this moment and be there for this hopefully victory. Mm hmm. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a prediction that Gawain doesn't die. I don't think Gawain dies. I either. think I think that I said I really want him to, and I think he's at risk. I think it's going to look like he's going to die. Someone's going to save him, though. Yeah. Uh, I think it might be Rand. Which is going to be complicated because he's so mad at Rand <laughs> that like, Rand, Rand is, is going to be. Die. <laughs> no, I think that Rand saves Gawain, mm. which is, and then Gawain's like, "But you killed my mom." He's like, "I didn't kill your mom." In the middle of the battle, he's like, "All right," and then they fight back to back like boys. Yeah, I have to say it was like a nice little touch that they had Rand invite Gawain mm -hmm. to come see him, but yeah, I liked it. He didn't, and that Rand put together, he's like, "Oh man, he's not going to believe me." That's tough. Uh, who do I think is going to die? Mm -hmm. I think I, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I hope Savannah does, because, like, Savannah, tisk tisk, my friend. Yeah. Mm hmm Yep. Um, I think Aram might be in danger. I don't think he's played his part yet. I think his part might be in this fight. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. The tinker wielding the sword, like, that's, like, part of whatever prophecy. I think it might be a big moment. part of this fight, yeah. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Because I think Perrin's safe. I think Alana's safe. I disagree with you. I think Alana and Rand haven't had enough time together mm -hmm. for it to be worth what happened between them here's the thing if alana doesn't die elaine will kill her yeah i kind of want to see that happen <laughs> should we jump into it okay let's do this are you ready are you ready yes i'm not ready i'm gonna freak out i'm already like on edge I ever know. since last night let's go chapter 55 the last chapter dumai's wells Gowan right. tried to keep his mind on the landscape as he rode at the head of the column. Some of those occasional long ridges and low hills were not quite so low as they seemed. That's where the Aiel hide. <laughs> and dust could hide a lot, too. The Aiel. Demise Wells lay just World off order. the road to his right. Oh. They said the thing. They said the thing. Most of the younglings were at the rear, where Galena had ordered them. Anakin's going to get him. Yeah, a bunch of them are dead. Well, he had not raised a hand against Althor. He had been stunned to learn the man was a prisoner and had been for days when he heard of it. Somehow, he must make her understand that. He's going to help her escape. Or him escape. Gawain's, Gawain's going to be the linchpin of this fight. I feel like people hate him too much. I don't know. I think he's going to do it. I hope so. He could about men. If the warders would only slacken the guard on her, he could... People are letting people get away left, right, and center. Truly. Him and Egwene do the same thing. They have the same impulse. True. There was blood around his mouth, and he had one arm tied against his middle as if trying to hold himself together. Oh my god. I heal, he mumbled. Thousands. But is it the Shido or the bear? This is going to be a mess of Aiel, not knowing who's who. Oh, no, because all the... The red. The cis I'm on. Yeah. Except for the maidens. This was not the first time in the last few days that she had suggested he lead a scout himself. Hmm. He suspected if he did, 
he would find Aiel and not tame. <laughs> Smart boy. Perhaps it would not be unwise to be cautious this once. Okay. The air inside the chest felt thick and hot. POV switch. <laughs> they sluiced him off with a bucket of water each night, but that was hardly a bath. He was a mass of stripes, not an inch of him, from shoulders to knees, but burned even before sweat touched it. I might have been too harsh on the white cloaks. Yeah, I said I are evil. <laughs> well, she's a dark friend. She's Black Aja. Everyone else is letting this happen. There's 63 of them. And his eyes took as long each day to see anything but blackness as his nose did to grow deadened. Hmm. That's a good line. That was well written. His tiny prison thumped to the ground hard. I cannot imagine. Because he's like as tall as you are. Yeah, and I doubt he was like a yoga master before he started this. He had marked down every woman when she took her turn at him. They were a jumble now. They're gonna die. They're not gonna make it. Those faces glowed in his mind with a feral light. How often did they want to hear him scream? Twice a day. So the two dark friends and then... The one whose orders he killed. Yeah. Muttering darkly, Rand returned to feeling blindly across that smooth plain to the six soft points. Sooner or later, they would let him out. I feel like if you're worried about him going mad, don't help him along. Yeah, it's a bad idea. Crawling up the gentle slope on his belly, Perrin peered over the crest into a scene from the Dirty Dark change. One's dreams. I'm so excited for the wolves. I've been waiting for this. I know. It's crazy that they haven't mentioned Slayer in like two books, though. Like, where is he? Balls of fire, small as a fist and large as boulders, hurtled into the Aiel. Gouts of fire flared, turning a dozen at a time to torches. Oh, the Shadow are already attacking. Okay. But silver flashes of lightning struck at the wagons, too, and fire leaped from the Aiel. Yo! But if the battle seemed slightly in favor of the Aes Sedai, the sheer number of Shido had to prove overwhelming eventually. Let's go! Of the Shido? No, the Shido and the Aes Sedai. The wise one smelled concerned, not afraid, but troubled. What does concern smell like? You have brought us to a boiling cauldron, young Ebara. You came... Never mind. The Lord Dragon is down there, Baron nodded. And you mean to go in there and bring him out? Hell yeah. He smelled resigned, not afraid. I like to brain a glory, lot. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way. <laughs> Even if your wise ones can actually channel to any effect, we are not enough to match that. Soralia snorted loudly, but Karuna kept her eyes where they were. <laughs> I'll not let Elida have Rand. Good, because I will not either. Let's go! It was not much of a plan that they had. It boiled down to reaching Rand somehow, freeing him somehow, <laughs> then hoping he was not injured too badly to make a gateway. Step one, find <laughs> Rand. Step two, uh, step three, profit. <laughs> but Perrin wished there had been time for some sort of real planning. <laughs> they didn't hammer anything out. Rand will be able to open a gateway. Yeah. They don't even know if he's been stilled or not. Their plan literally involves... Never mind. Whatever. May we see the sun rise together, shade of my heart. One of them is dead. Yes. It is time for the Pipers to play the dance, Ruark said, lifting his black veil. Let's Go! Many of the maidens did not like the required strips of red cloth tied around their arms. They seemed to think anyone should know at a glance. <laughs> How? Oh my god, I'm, this is exciting. Dobrain waved his arm for the advance, behind Rand's twin banners. Oh, here we go. As a small forest of 500 lances climbed beside the Aiel. A forest of lances? What imagery? The two rivers men dismounted, taking bows in hand. Six hundred. Let's go. 
five, four. There's a little countdown. This is so cool. <laughs> the Lord Dragon, Tiberwin, and victory, he shouted. And the shout came from 500 throats as lances snapped down. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Loping along, letting the horse pull him in long leaping strides, Perrin sent his mind out. Come. <laughs> Suddenly gave birth to a thousand wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Just as the first long two rivers shafts rained out of the sky beyond them. I hope Perrin told him about the wolves. <laughs> new lightnings fell with the arrows. New fires bloomed. Could you imagine? They had to reach Rand. Wow. Everything rested on that. Aram That's seemed cool. to dance with his sword, laughing as he cut down everyone in his way. <laughs> That's horrifying. Men and horses turning to screaming torches. Those who could still scream. <laughs> A moment later, he saw Karuna, face serenely unconcerned, striding like a queen of battles along a path carved for her by three warders. What were any of them doing? They were supposed to be back with the wise ones. Not the greens. Yeah, they don't listen. Frickin' Aes Sedai. A slash of light appeared not twenty paces from him, slicing through several men and a horse like a huge razor as it widened into a gateway. A black-coated man with a sword... <laughs> But a moment later, eight or nine more sprang through as the gateway vanished. It's the Ashaman! With more than swords. Some of the Shido who rushed at them fell to a blade, but more simply burst into flame. <laughs> Maybe a hundred paces beyond them, Perrin thought he saw another circle of men in black coats. <laughs> How do they know? I don't know. It was all he could do to remain standing where he was. Oh my god. One corner of his mind held an image of Fayil and the sad thought that he would not be able to apologize for not coming back to her. <laughs> she does not deserve Perrin. No, she does not. Six points, but one was hard now. Not soft, hard. And then a second. <laughs> hey, Luce. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> this is the weirdest porno I've ever listened to. The last two points remain soft. Slowly, ever so slowly, he fumbled into one of those gaps, squeezing through infinitesimal spaces between what seemed not to be there at all. All right, Ant-Man. <laughs> slowly. It feels like Operation. <laughs> <laughs> it was as if he flexed what he had extended through the knot. Flexed it as hard as he could. Hmm. He's hulking out. And then it burst. Yes! Okay, let's go. The barrier thinned. Oh, interesting. Bending, bending. Suddenly it tore apart before him like rotted cloth. <laughs> oh, they're so fucked! Before he even finished with the fists of spirit, he channeled air. The chest exploded away from him with a loud <laughs> boom. Oh, wow. I wonder how much him being a warder helped him take all that beating. Hmm. The third, an angular woman, was on her knees staring at nothing, clutching her head in both hands and screaming. Oh, she got... She got severed. An instant of regret that it was mm, not Galena no, or Arian me, yeah. he had stilled. He was not oh, sure he had intended to do that. And he saw another shape stretched out on the ground beneath bits of the chest. In rose-colored coat and breeches. No! He did not care if it was Tarman Gaiden. <laughs> if he had killed Min. Gently he turned her over. Rand, she breathed. <laughs> You're alive. I was afraid to look. Will you untie me, sheep herder? <laughs> <laughs> or don't bother with untying. Just toss me over your shoulder and go. 
I love Min so much. She's my favorite. A gateway opened from here might go anywhere. Oh, you have to know where you are as much as where you're going. Mm. Somehow Taim had found him and brought Ashaman soldiers. Taim? I think some friends have come for me. Let's go. Don't worry, I will protect you. Yeah, you will. If he decided to steal her, he wanted her to know who was doing it and why. <laughs> All right. Whoa. No one out there could feel Saiyadeen. Right. So you could just stand there. Spirit and air, and she fell limply, one foot tangled in a stirrup. <laughs> ah! Yes! <laughs> Loose there and laugh. <laughs> yes! This is so cool. Mm -hmm. In moments, there were black veiled Aiel everywhere, and mm. chaos. Let the Lord of Chaos rule. And Kyrian and Lancers in their bell-shaped helmets and Mayenners in red breastplates were suddenly among the wagons too, striking at Aiel as well as warders. This is amazing. Yeah. What a chapter. Have I gone mad? He's like, what's happening? <laughs> you have friends, Rand. You don't treat them the best, but... <laughs> suddenly Gowan was reining a base stallion up not ten paces in front of him, sword in hand and twenty or more green-coated men riding at his heels. Oh, no. Min! Gowan grated. I can take you out of here. She peeked past Rand's shoulder to shake her head. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Taim turned to Rand, that almost smile on his lips. Under the circumstances, I trust you will not hold it against me, violating your command about confronting Aes Sedai. <laughs> <laughs> he shrugged, but Rand stopped listening, walled the man off to the buzzing of a fly. It was a trick he had learned inside the chest. Huh, interesting. That's good. You thought there might have been as many as 200 black-coated men beneath the dome. A hail of lightning and fire struck that barrier and exploded harmlessly. The Gungans are here. There were other Aes Sedai present, surrounded by warders and watched by black-coated men, though not shielded, watching the Ashaman as uneasily as did the women under guard. Cool. There were nine altogether. Nine. Sudden rage stormed outside the void, and at that point, it seemed no surprise at all to see Perrin stagger up, face and beard bloody, followed by a limping loyal with a huge axe. And okay. a thousand wolves. Rand almost looked around right to on. see whether Matt was also there somehow. <laughs> Why not? Keep a where's Rurar. Then Dara joined Perrin, letting her veil drop, and another maiden Rand almost did not recognize at first. It's good to see Sulin in Cotton Sore once more. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I love her. Yes, it is. Savannah wants my head, Taim. I mean to let her know her mistake. <laughs> Show me just how deadly they are. Because <laughs> if you run away here, you just have to fight them again in the future. Exactly. Yeah. Loyal's ears wriggled uneasily and Perrin grabbed Rand's arm as Taim walked away. Oh, it hasn't even begun yet. Let's go. On flows of air, Jer Grady lifted the crimson banner out of a surprised Dobrain's hand and raised it all the way through the hole in the top of the dome. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. But they had time for only a stride before Taim's next shout. Ashaman! Kill! <laughs> the front rank of Shido exploded. <laughs> Cotton sore clad shapes burst apart in sprays of blood and flesh. Is this an episode of The Boys? <laughs> Basically. This is going to be. Then the next. And the, the most next, expensive. As though they were running into an happened. enormous meat grinder. <laughs> the bloody ruins of human beings began to make a wall. <laughs> Ashaman! Taim's voice rang out. Rolling ring of earth and fire! Beneath the feet of the Shido nearest the wagons, the ground suddenly erupted in fountains of flame and dirt, hurling men in every direction. All right. Gotta shake things up a little. Literally. 
Savannah has regrets. Ashaman, rest. For a moment, a deafening silence seemed to fill the air. Rand's ears rang. Wow. I think Rand has regrets. Wow. With power enhancing his eyes, he could make out Ruark, limping. Yes! And well beyond him, a large group of women in dark bulky skirts and pale blouses. Let's go. I am Bera Harkin, and this is Karuna Nachiman. We came to rescue you. Your place is with them, Rand said, pointing to the Aes Sedai shielded and under guard. You forget who we are. I, was I said six could come, but I count nine. I said you would be on an equal footing with the Tower Emissaries, and for bringing nine you will be. <laughs> yeah. Kneel. Two dozen black-coated men made a ring around Rand and the Aes Sedai. <laughs> Unusually for stories, it was something very close to truth that was most often believed. The unstained tower, broken, bent knee to the forgotten sign. Wow. And the world was changed forever. God damn, what a what? <laughs> What an end. Yeah. We just have the whole epilogue. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is... I'm really shocked no major character died. Me too, yeah. We don't even know if Savannah might still be alive. Like, yeah. literally, like, and Galena's still out there. Pro oh, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Wow. Spicy. That was, that was so... It felt climactic in a way that, like, it deserved. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, 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 yeah. The one thing I wish is that we saw more of the wolves. I know they, like, came out of there, but, like, it's like... Yeah, and I, I wish we knew how, like, they, they didn't say much about how many wolves survived. I know! I'm a little I worried about know. the wolves. Yeah, wow, that was... I, I, uh, how, um, hmm. We're not going to talk too much now. Because on Friday, we have the Nerdy Wordy Book Club, our podcast, that will probably be, like, seven hours this week. Um... Because there's so much to talk about. But come yeah. back Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, mm -hmm. or stick around in this video, because we're about to react to the epilogue uh, to finish that off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, that was uh, that was incredible. Well done, Robert Jordan. Well done. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. I have one question. I have one answer. The Well, so, okay, so the Aes Sedai take oaths mm -hmm. that they can only, like, harm dark friends... Or, like, protect the tower if it's under attack, right? Or protect themselves if they're under in mortal danger. Right. I think they could argue that this is mortal danger. Yeah. I think the three oaths are Swiss cheese with more holes in them than anything. So I think, yeah, I, I think it is easy to justify against the oaths what happened here, particularly for the dark friend uh, Aes Sedai, who their oaths already don't matter because the oaths with the dark ones yeah. supersede them. Totally. I just, okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Epilogue. Let's do this. Epilogue. The answer. Months of futile search had convinced her there was no cash of Angreal, whatever Mogedian believed. That pair might yet lead her to the cash, and if not, Mogedian had seemed to have some interest in Elaine and Nynaeve themselves. No, if Mogedian gets an Angreal, it's really bad. <laughs> Sitting in his study... Herod was peering into his pipe and wondering whether he had the means of lighting it at hand or in Korean, when the golem squeezed under the door. It took her a moment to realize what it was, and when she did, she fainted before she could get a scream out. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's one of Arangar's be or Osangar's beasts, the golem. Perhaps the return would come soon, and the daughter of the nine moons with it. Surely that would be the greatest omen of victory. Matt's girl. Admitting just enough moonlight for her to make out a woman ducking in. It's gonna be Halima. Call me Arangar, Mogedian, an amused voice said. Damn it. 
but a woman certainly, if one who looked as though she had been designed by a man. Oh. Because you are summoned to Sheol Ghoul this very night. Summoned to Sheol Ghoul. She knows so much. She knows so much about the Saladar. Yep. Yes, remove it. I will go immediately. Demon Dread knelt in the pit of doom. Demon Dread. Watched his trembling with that eyeless, impassive gaze. Have I not done well, Great Lord? The Great Lord's laughter filled Demon Dread's head. Well, that was way creepier than I thought it would be. The end of the sixth book of the Wheel of Time. Well done. Well um, done. All right. I have so many questions. Yeah. Oh, my God. I thought we were going to wrap up Ebudar in this book, but we did not. No, because Ebudar is about to be overtaken by Sanchin. Yeah. 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 They're screwed. It's like the Sanchin follow... Um, like, Nine even a lane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time. Oh, my God. No ship captain? No, no. Gienen in a whole book? Where's my ship captain? Because uh, he wasn't in book five either. No. Nope. We have not seen my boy, ship captain, in so long. Um, wow. I'm I'm a little uh, I'm a little all over the place mentally right now. That was a lot. Yeah, there's a reason we're not like talking about all of this immediately afterwards and we're saving it to book club. It's so that we can figure out what the hell just happened. I'm definitely gonna sit down and read it again before Friday. Yeah, I think it'll be good to have another pass at it for sure, because there was just a lot that happened. <laughs> But um, thanks for uh, tuning in for this. That was our reaction. This, uh, I, yeah. Everyone's alive, which is what's crazy. Yes, that is the craziest part. Like, I, I'm really waiting for Robert Jordan to, like, kill off some main characters. Yeah, seriously. Mostly because he keeps introducing more main characters. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit that dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. And, you know, she's been in that Adam. Poor McGideon has been locked up for so long. She's real hungry. She's, she's not been able to control her, uh, her intake mm -hmm. calorically. Uh, and you know McGideon counts her macros. So uh, definitely not. feed a mean comment to McGideon uh, and follow us around the internet. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. And come back for book club on Friday, y'all. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's go. It'll probably be a four-hour show. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye. Thank you.